Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a simple regression in Microsoft Excel. In this example, a local Sari Sari store keeps track of how many ice candies they sell versus the temperature on that day. And here are the data for those 12 days. In the second column, the temperature in degrees Celsius is given while the third column tells us the number of ice candies sold every day. In this example, we are trying to determine if the number of ice candies sold is dependent on the temperature in degrees Celsius on a given day. So for this example, we can use the simple regression analysis. The first thing that we need to do is to identify the independent and dependent variables. And since our assumption is that the number of ice can be sold is dependent on the temperature on that day, then this is our dependent variable. Oops. And the other one is the independent variable. Independent variables are usually labeled as X, so we can call this column X, and the dependent variable is labeled as Y. Sometimes, independent variable is also called the predictor because it predicts the possible um, value of the response variable. After identifying the variables, we need to construct a scatterplot diagram. And to do this, we need to go to insert and choose the chart function. I'm using Microsoft Excel 2016, but it should also be available on earlier version. To start, you can pre-select the variables, but in this case, I'm going to choose the chart first so that you'll be able to know how to input the independent and dependent variables. So after um, creating this rectangle here, you need to select data. On other versions, this window will come up right away. So if you're planning to add a data for the chart, you just need to select this one. And here, we'll have a chance to put the chart title. So in this case, this is the scatter plot for the temperature versus the yeah, just the number of ice candies. Oh. For the series X values, we're referring to the temperature or for the X axis. So here, it's from 31.2 to 26.5. For the Y, which is the dependent variable or the Y axis, we can select from 35 to 26. Pressing OK and it will give us this kind of chart. So we can see from this chart that this point is the representation of the temperature 34.1 degrees Celsius and the possible number of ice candies that can be sold during that day is 47. So this point is the representation of these two values here. To complete the labels, we can go to um, design and then we have here add chart element and by choosing this one we'll be able to type the axis title and this is the temperature in degree Celsius okay and we need to add a title for this one which is the number of ice candies sold on that day Looking at this chart, we can see that the plots seem to follow a linear increasing trend. And to confirm that, we can select this chart again, go to design, add chart element, and choose the trend line. And since we are performing simple linear regression, then we need to select this one. And you can see the imaginary line here. To see it clearly, you can select uh, any of these designs. And why don't we change this to red? And this red line represents the regression equation. And if you want to identify the regression equation, all you need to do is to select this line, right click, format trend line, and display equation, also the R squared. 
this R squared is a goodness of fit measure for linear regression models. So this statistic tells us that the variance in the dependent variable may be due to the independent variable. In this example, R squared is 0.9042 converted to percentage. There is a 90.42% chance that the number of ice candies sold is relative to the changes in the temperature in degree Celsius. To confirm these results, we need to perform regression using this data analysis function under the data ribbon. If you don't have this function, you can always check my video tutorial about this. So select regression here. Okay. And we need to select our dependent variable. In this case, it's the number of ice candies sold. The independent variable is the temperature in degree Celsius. Now, since I included the labels in the selection, I would select labels here and if you want the conf confidence intervals you can always select this one but in this case we don't need it and for the output i want my output to be here on the right side and these are residual tests and these are performed whenever you want to confirm your assumptions before a simple regression analysis or multiple regression analysis but these tests will be discussed in another video so for now we're just after the output for this problem so here we have the summary table for our tests but let us round off our values to two or to three decimal places for easy understanding okay Oh, this is two. I need three. And how about create another three here? Okay. The multiple R here is the correlation coefficient. You can say Pearson R if you're used to it. So this tells us the correlation between the two variables. In this case, it's 0 0.95, so we can say that there is a strong positive correlation between the two variables. So it is confirmed in our graph because you can see here that we have an increasing trend. So if the temperature rises, the number of ice candy sold also um, increases. And here, we use the R square for us to determine the effect of the dependent or the independent variable to the dependent variable so sometimes this is called correlation of determination and in this case we can say that around 90 percent tells us that the changes happening to the independent variable affect the changes in the dependent variable and i already explained this in the r squared value here but if you are performing a multiple regression you can use this value as an alternative for r squared again you use the adjusted r squared if you have multiple independent variables or if you are performing a multiple regression but in this case we only have a single regression because we only have one independent variable so we just need to use this r squared the standard error is explained as the possible error in the mean, but it's a little deeper topic, so we will just explain this, or I'll try doing another video for this standard error. In this ANOVA table, what we need to see is the significance level. The significance F here is just the p-value for this F test, and if the value is near zero then this model is acceptable meaning the regression equation that we have uh, come up to a while ago is uh, statistically significant and can be used to predict the dependent variable using the independent variable looking at the third table we can see here that the intercept coefficient is negative 38.61 which coincides to the value in this regression equation so yes we got this minus 38.61 here from this table and the uh, temperature of uh, 2.39 here is the coefficient for our regression equation or the slope for this equation which is already written here 
So with this, we can say that the regression equation a while ago is correct. Now, since we have proven that this regression equation is statistically significant, we can now use this equation to predict or forecast the possible number of ice candies that can be sold on a given temperature. But we need to take note that whenever you are trying to choose a particular value for x using the equation, it should be within the range of this sample set. So if we are trying to determine the minimum value, just need to use the minimum function here. So the minimum value in this data set is 26.5. And the maximum value is say 34.1 so if we need to choose a constant for this one or a value a particular value it should be greater than 26.5 but less than 34.1 so let's say the temperature is 30 so can i predict the possible number of ice candies that i can sell if the Temperature on that day is 30 degrees Celsius. Yes, by using this regress regression equation. So number of ice candies, let's say IC, is just equal to, using this value, we have 2.3856. So 2.3856 multiplied to X, and the X in this example is 30. So I'll just multiply this to 30 minus... 38.606 so this is 38.606 pressing enter and since we are talking about the number of ice candies we need to round this off to the nearest whole number so the possible if not 33 um yeah uh, if not 33 it's possible that i can sell 34 ice candies if the temperature on that day is 30 degrees celsius Regression analysis is a very useful analysis. For instance, in business, if you want to project annual sales or annual incomes using your recent data, you can always perform regression analysis and come up with a regression equation as long as you have the correct bivariate data or variables. And that's all for this video. If you want more video tutorials in statistics and MS Excel, please subscribe to my channel for your updates. See you in the next video.